come back? What you doing, baby? Huh? What you doing? All right. Thing, thing in my shoe. Did you pull in, baby? Did you pull in? Somehow I got a rock in my shoe. That's not good, is it, baby cakes? Come on, little girl. This property, or the reservoir out here, we got a snowstorm back in, I think, December. And it was really bad. And all this snow here turned to ice, and it was from over there all the way over there. It took out all them little trees and stuff, and Buck would walk on him. He goes way out there and stuff. And yeah, it was bad. And we still have some of the snow. Uh, the snow drift at our house was at our roof. And my husband was mandated at work. And so it was just me and the dogs and cats at home for an entire week. And I had to get out and shovel for the dogs and stuff. And I shoveled one little path in the front of the house, and then I, the back of the house was okay because I blew, it blows away from the door, but then a piece of ice got stuck in um, the door jam, and I couldn't get the door closed. And so I worked for like 20 minutes to get that damn door closed, and it was so windy and so icky, and yeah, it was not good. But we still have a little snow bank from the snow at the house and stuff. But he just walks out on that little thing and it scares me that he's going to fall down into the little ravine there because it's all, it's all icky branches if you can see over there. Yeah. Come on, Buck. Brooklyn. We don't want to chase the rabbits. Come on. Babies. <sighs> so, yeah. I'm just going to keep walking. They'll follow. So right in here. See? See, we got all this snow. And we had a snowstorm the other day, but that was just fluff. This is ice that's drying. Or that's melting. That's from December. And we never have snowstorms that last that long. What are you doing, baby girl? Come on, back. I was going to take them for a walk in the BLM land over by Fort Meade, where both Jeremy and I work. And they blocked it off where we can't go up in there. So, I guess. So we come out to the old reliable stink pond. It's a reservoir, but there's no outlet for it. So... The water gets real stagnant and everything, and it just stinks really bad. 
and Buck loves to swim in there and stuff. It's not for me, so. But it's a good land bridge to walk on with them and stuff. So, yeah. And then we we go up this hill sometimes and so, yeah. It's a little chilly today, but it's nice out. So, I got my decorative walking stick that I haven't used yet. I went, I was walking through the hills and I found this stick and I handed it down, cut it to the right size, uh, stained it, and then I put these little jewels on it and everything. I've made four of them. One of them is really neat because it has a natural bend to it, so it looks like it's got a handle and everything, or a gripper thing. So, yeah. yeah but. So, there's Bear Butte. There's my baby doll girl. There's my car way over there. I don't know if you can see it. There's my buck up there. I don't know if you can see him. But there's my baby Brooklyn. So I gave her a bath. I gave both the dogs a bath the other day. And my husband took him out, I believe yesterday, out to the lake. And she came back so muddy and so full of sticks and stuff. I couldn't believe it. Where are you going, Buck? Huh? Brooklyn? Come on, you guys. Let's go back. Come on. Come on, Buck. What are you doing, baby girl? Come on. Oh, yeah. What you doing, baby? So we took him to the vet because he has had a little knot on his tail. And it felt like a little lipoma to me or a cyst. It was a cyst, but um, he's had it for about two years. And the doctor poked it and pushed all the stuff out. I would have thought it would have been liquid. Uh, it was like gross, oily, brown hairy, skin-filled grossness. It was gross. It was just disgusting. And he didn't get it all out, so he still has a little lump. But, um, yeah, it was just disgusting. But we put him on a new diet because he's, um, he eats all the time. And, um, he's always getting he's very food motivated um, so we put him on his science, science diet metabolic weight gain weight maintenance diet and he's lost weight which is good he doesn't eat as much uh, food because it's basically filler and I put meat in it. Also, I put like a half a cup of meat in it. That dog is going to fall through that stink pond. Let me get him up here. Buck, get up here! Buck, come on! Um, anyways. So, uh, he's just doing really well on it. It's expensive, though. It's like... 85 bucks for a bag and it's not a big bag so yeah but if I can keep him off of the icky food and just keep him eating that he should be good he has to lose like I think like five more pounds and then he should be at his ideal weight but he is a neutered male so um so that makes it a little bit hard um, for him. So my niece is a, is a vet tech and she says, Kenya, he's so overweight. And I'm like, he's a little bit overweight. He's not that bad. And we're working on his diet. And I said, he is a neutered male. So, you know, and she's like, well, yeah, but you really have to work on it. And I said, I've been working on it. My husband doesn't think I've been 
having him on a diet as long as I had. But um, when I was feeding him the other food, oh my god, he, it was like he wanted to eat all the time. He was eating up and snatching stuff out of the sink and on the counter and stuff. And, and then finally I talked to the vet and I'm like, what, what, how can I get him to stop? And he was like, uh, he needs to be put on a food that actually has a lot of filler in it and stuff. So I put him on the science diet and he's been doing real good with that. So, yeah. And then we run him every day, you know. So, yep. It's my buckaboo and my little girl. Brooklyn, she's just a picky dog. She, uh, she's got me trained. She won't eat unless I sit down and hand feed her. Unless she's starving and then, then she'll sit down and eat. But if she doesn't eat, then Buck gets her food and eats it. So, yeah. But she's got all this hair and she, I see her butt is dirty again. I see your butt's dirty again. Come on, Buck. So, I'm going to shave her down in a couple of months. Come on, Buck. Buck. Look at that ding dong over there. Let's call him back. So, yeah. And somebody. Oh, hold on.